Welcome back to this channel. In the last video lesson, we have implemented user dashboard. So in today's lesson, we're going to implement um, protected route in our front-end application. So we have already implemented protected route in our back-end application, but this time we'll be with React. But just before doing this, we're going to finish with the visual of the user dashboard. Okay, so if you are new to this channel, consider to subscribe without wasting time. Let's begin. Okay, guys, let's continue. I have already the basic HTML ready, so I'm going to paste here. Okay, let's uh, make some indentation. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, let's comment this out. Okay, so, you know, class... Um, so this is the HTML. So here we have JSX. So, but uh, class is a reserved keyword, okay, in JavaScript. So uh, in JSX we have class name, okay. I'm gonna select all the class and uh, add class name, okay, like so, and save. But uh, okay. So here, let's say uh, I'm gonna just copy this. Let's say I have a, a name, okay, like so. And uh, what else? I have email. Okay, just copy email. So here, this is the basic. So let me, I mean, get rid of this. Okay, and now we're gonna give a try to see the appearance of our dashboard. Okay, now in our front end application, let's give a try real quick. Okay, so. Um, at gmail.com and the password I mean okay as you can see so we have the basic uh, user dashboard I'm gonna add uh, I mean the header and the footer navigation but let's go back we have uh, two more pieces to add here and uh, okay so um, here um, let's add uh, um, join at okay join at column okay jump into um javascript because everything in the colibris is, is javascript okay so i'm gonna add uh, the date that the that uh, this person subscribed okay so uh here i should destructure i mean uh, uh the created at so we have a custom i mean a property created automatically by i mean mongodb okay so created at and after that we have the wall okay user wall okay so let's uh use it here okay join at so i'm gonna add a new date okay and this return, I mean, the date. After that, we should transform it to, I mean, local date string to locale date string. Okay, like so. Custom method. Okay. And after that, uh, sorry, braces. Okay, the wall what we want to output for example we're gonna add a ternary operator i mean if all okay is equal to one so we have uh, admin okay else okay we have uh, you could say registered user okay save and now Let's go back. 
okay so as you can see that you see guys um we have name email join at so this is the uh, the exact date okay and this is a which is thread which is thread sorry user and that, that's it guys so now let me uh let's call the the header and the footer here okay now let's import i mean header and footer okay import header from okay so we are here one step up dot dot okay and after that we are in pages one step up okay and now we are in we should enter in component and after that we find header and this line let's duplicate okay so in this one we have i mean footer okay like so and now let's uh, add this component header so here okay um here we have header and at the end we have footer okay let's save and now let's give a try okay in our front end application okay as you can see guys so now in the dashboard i have header i have footer okay so um we are done for now for this part so let's implement that in uh, protected world because uh why we should implement protected world because if a user is not signed in and he's trying to get i mean in this world okay in order to access it so uh our app should redirect that user to sign in okay so uh this is the main reason we should protect i mean this world okay so let's go in our application in uh i mean uh, our code editor to implement protected world we're gonna use uh, i mean uh, react world or DOM, okay so let's do it okay guys so here this is the documentation okay as you can see I mean in the screen and this is a link and the one that we need is redirects off okay so uh, um, okay we're gonna scroll down so here I mean uh, here you see an example for example uh, if the user is not logged in you see this little message you must log in to view the page okay and you should log in in order to access I mean this protected page so the the example that we need is this one private route okay you see children and uh, you see the spread operator um, rest and here inside the uh, return the route okay you see also the the spread operator what does that mean that mean uh, any one that is protected with this custom I mean um, function okay uh the user can access it if um he's authenticated okay and as you can see you see the ternary operator if the user is authenticated okay you see um uh the the children okay so any what okay children what so any what okay protected by private what if the user is authenticated he can access it okay so else we're gonna redirect the user if not authenticated to the login page okay and now but um and now we can obviously uh, customize i mean this method so uh this that was a little explanation so and now let's go back to our code editor okay in order to implement the protected world we should go first in the sign in component okay so when the user is authenticated we're gonna save i mean uh, uh his data to the local storage okay because we're gonna use it to test uh whenever we should give access of not to our dashboard 
okay so we're gonna add another condition if okay if type of okay type of window okay is different to define undefine okay so that's mean we want to say uh, if we have the window object what we want to do we're going to save this one in the local storage okay so the saves uh, in the local storage we want to use set item but if you want to if we want to have the value we're going to use get item so set item has i mean i can say two parameters the first one will be i mean the name i'm going to name it token and the second one will be the data to save okay we could say data because we already have this data but we're gonna we want to save it i mean uh, in a json format what we want to do let's get this one and uh, i'm gonna add uh, json Okay, that stringify, stringify, okay, and pass the data like so. Okay, and now let's give it a try. Okay, so and now let me show you. Okay, let's log in real quick. Okay, without one, and okay, the password, okay. We are log in but the most important thing i'm gonna show you um we're gonna go application but mine is in portuguese but yours will be in english okay application and after that let's go to i mean storage okay as you can see uh you see in storage we get token we give the name token and this is what we save success true and this is the token okay guys so and now um uh, let's go back to implement uh, in our particular world okay now let's create a new component in our component folder okay let's name it private wow.js okay like so i'm gonna create an our function r e f c e okay and I'm gonna need a uh, route, okay? Um, route and redirect, okay? So we're gonna import them from, I mean, reacquired okay? This one, okay? Okay, here we're gonna use the spread operator. <clears throat> okay, three dot west. Okay, and now let's uh, create a variable name off to test if we get our item in local storage. Okay, remember we give the name of token. Okay, and now I'm gonna add a condition to, I mean to avoid error. Okay. And now here, if off, okay, what we do when I return, okay, when I return, I mean, the route, okay, okay, route here, and we're going to use also the spread operator, that's mean an authenticated user can access any route, okay, protected by this method okay spread operator west okay and uh, let's add return okay return what okay else uh let's remove this okay else we want to return redirect let's say where to go okay we want to return in one other user if not authenticated to go in signing component i think that's it let's save 
okay now let's use the private word in our word okay here let's add some space import okay private private word okay from okay we are in app js okay we're gonna go inside component okay dot slash component and after that private route okay like so and now instead of using a regular route we're gonna use private route in user dashboard okay now let's say okay so everything seems working great now let's give it a try Okay, so now let's sign in. Okay, password. Okay, guys, as you can see, log in successfully. So, guys, that was it for this lesson. So, if you have question, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. If you do like this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, consider to subscribe. So um, from now, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.